This is Australia's first known case of the super fast spreading UK variant of COVID-19. Evidence shows this variant is 70% more infectious than other strains. We all know how easily the original strain of COVID-19 transmits through our community, which means this strain is now setting a whole new benchmark in our fight against COVID-19. The rule book continues to evolve, as does COVID. As a result, we cannot hesitate. We cannot sit back and wait and watch. With COVID-19 and this new strain, we cannot assume anything. Given the number of contacts and potentially affected venues and locations, we need to move fast. Queensland and the whole of Australia are on high alert. I 100% support the Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk's decision to put Brisbane into a three-day lockdown. It's the right move. It's the smart, preemptive move that's necessary in the world in which we live. Our thoughts are with our friends and family in Queensland. Tonight, when they go into lockdown, they are not just doing it for Queensland, they are doing it for the whole country. Based on the latest up-to-date information and new expert health advice, a hard border will return between Western Australia and Queensland. This will come into effect from midnight tonight, that is 12.01am tomorrow, the 9th of January. This means Queensland will move from a very low risk state to a medium risk state under our health advice. This is the same approach taken to Victoria on New Year's Eve. As a result, travel from Queensland will no longer be permitted unless you are, you are an exempt traveller. This also applies to anyone who may have been in Queensland since January 2 and hasn't completed 14 days in a lower risk state or territory. This means all arrivals will need to meet a strict exemption category to enter WA. The exemption list is the same as it stands for New South Wales and Victoria. Compassionate grounds will be considered by WA Police, as has always been the case. This will include Western Australians who recently travelled to Queensland and need to return to WA. These people will be assessed by WA Police and will be required to complete 14 days of self-quarantine on arrival into WA. WA Police advise we have had about 7,500 arrivals from Queensland since January 2. The health advice is recommending these recent arrivals be tested by Tuesday. Obviously, today is 41 degrees Celsius. So from a health perspective, we're not telling people to rush to a COVID clinic today. The Department of Health will increase resources at our COVID clinics to ensure we can get through as many tests as quickly as possible by Tuesday. But you need, but, sorry, but you do need to expect delays, just like we see everywhere, everywhere around Australia and around the world. So we ask everyone to be patient, to bring water and sun protection in case the wait is long. They will also need to be tested on day 11 of their quarantine. Anyone in this category will be contacted by WA Police with these instructions as a result of the G2G Pass declaration system in place in WA. Today, there are nine flights from Queensland due at Perth Airport. We're expecting around 1,400 passengers. These people will be granted entry and will need to be tested on arrival at the airport. They will also likely, this, sorry, this will also likely result in delays in being processed at the airport, so we, ple so we please ask for patience. They will immediately go into self-quarantine for 14 days and will also need to be tested on day 11. My advice to those who are not West Australians returning home would be to return to Queensland unless you have personal circumstances that require you to stay in WA. I understand this is going to cause many problems for many people, but we need to take this course of action to protect all Western Australians. These are extraordinary circumstances. We're not just dealing with the COVID-19 of 2020. This is a whole new beast, and we must take action to prevent this deadly virus from spreading into our community. I have a responsibility for every Western Australian, and I need to do what is right to keep our state safe and strong. 
I want to make this point. If you are a recent arrival from Queensland or arriving today, you are free to depart WA and return to Queensland immediately. You just need to follow the instructions from WA Police and our health professionals and provide the necessary information before you leave self-quarantine and prior to your travel. The Western Australian community has been COVID free for, for 272 days now, nearly nine months. I want it that way. We don't want to see community transmission in WA. 